Like good kids. I don't like being around bad kids that are screaming and throwing tantrums and acting crazy the way Luca does sometimes. That, that gets on my nerves. Imagine that. Hmm. Imagine you're JJ and you're dating Jenna and Jenna's got a kid of her own and your mom is out here complaining. Literally has the audacity to complain <laughs> about your, well, I guess, maybe it's, maybe it's a bit too strong to say this now, but I don't really have an alternative, so I'm going to say as it is. But why are your mom's there complaining about your stepchild? Do you know what I mean? Savage. But anyway, we continue. I'm with you. There definitely is times where I'm with Luca and where I feel like he's my son, but then again, I, I can't really consistently think like that because then the brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Maybe when he's like 10. <laughs> then he's like, are you and Jenna using protection? Me and Jenna are not using protection. <laughs> Unexpected. Hmm. The show clearly shouldn't be unexpected with these two because if they actively are having intimacy without protection, they are pretend they are pretty much expecting. They want something to happen. It's crazy. JJ, you're only 19 years of age. You're somehow still in love with your high school sweetheart, shall I say? Because you've obviously known each other for a long time. But sadly, she went off and got pregnant with somebody else. But hey, that didn't work out. So you were still happy to still, you know, give her a chance. Hmm. You got a big heart. I mean, it kind of tells me that you don't really have my massive dreams for yourself because in reality, when you're 19 and you have an opportunity to not be a parent, well, usually you won't be a parent because you know you've got goals and aspirations in this life. Now, I'm not saying him stepping up and being a stepdad is going to stop him per se, but it's definitely something that's going to slow him down. So really and truly, the more I watch the storyline with these two, I see and I say to myself, JJ is one of those people that's allowed love to distract him from his own self goals. Do you see what I'm saying? Because he's not the one that got J Jenna pregnant. If he had been the one that got pregnant, that's a different type of conversation. But I do wonder though, is he trying to get her pregnant because one, he wants to have a kid of his own in the house. So therefore when he looks at it, he knows it's his. Two, to make sure that Jenna never leaves him again. Because to be fair, he gives her a promise ring. And he said, the reason I gave her a promise ring is because I want to give her that clarification, that reassurance that Unlike last time when he had to move to a different state, I'm not going anywhere, which is lovely. But that also tells me that maybe he's got this plan to trap her in his life. Let's be real. Kids is always a, a, kids have always sadly been a source of how people try and trap each other in relationships. So I do wonder if his intentions is literally to do anything possible to make sure that Jenna never leaves his side again. And maybe that's his life aspirations in this world. Because really and truly, I don't know any 19 year old boy that would want to, especially in this generation, that would want to step up and be a stepdaddy to no kid to any kid whilst they still got their life ahead of them. You know what I'm saying? It would be very different if these two were like 30. You know what I mean? But nonetheless though, that's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Let's move on to the uh, next couple. After Graham figured out that he was gonna be a dad, I could tell he was stressed out a lot, but I didn't think it like impact like his weight and everything, like his health. 10 pounds in like a month almost. And then just been going down from there. Teach me your diet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The crazy thing about it is that uh, it's not even a laughing matter. What's been ignored here is his mental health. What's been ignored here is that clearly he's uh, got to a point where his anxiety is hitting him hard. It's hitting him so hard that he doesn't have to behave, he doesn't have to react. But at the same time, because clearly his heart's in the right place in terms of the fact that he wants to be here for his child, he obviously knows that he's not going to walk away. He's going to step up to his responsibilities. But at the same time, it's probably killing him that his whole life is pretty much now changing because you see, well, let's continue. Kind of, oh, I'll pull through. I'll get it together before the baby shower. I feel like Graham does use a lot of excuses to get out of stuff. He's already missed setting up for my gender reveal. When I realized, you know, at first when I saw this saw the scene, I was like, maybe she's got a point. But then I realized Kaylee's a spoiled little brat, so of course she's gonna think that he's making things up. Which I'm not saying isn't a possibility, but let's just continue so I can so I can finish off my original point. When I realized that being a 15 year old and having a girl pregnant was real, I thought I was just a failure to everybody. So I'm young having a kid. It's just stressful. I worry about school and my grades. But football, and I got a job to provide for my son. So here's the thing. Graham has changed his whole life around. You know, this is a boy that had been playing American football since he was eight years old. You know, he'd always see all these dreams and ideas of what he, where he wanted to go in life, what he wanted to do in life. But instead, he ended up getting to go pregnant. And because of that, obviously, he now understands he's, he's got a responsibility ahead of him. So he's quit football and he's gone and got a job. I mean, at such a young age, to be honest with you, I give him massive credit. Literally, my hands goes up for him. 
to be honest with you, how he ended up with Kaylee, I feel sorry for this guy. Because to be honest with you, <laughs> she's going to make his life very, very challenging. Because if you ask me personally, she's not somebody that comes across as somebody that can be grateful for many things. And probably that's, and that's due, due, to, due to his, to, and that's due to her mother. The way her mother spoils her has been absolutely disgusting. As well as, well as is even her father too. Literally, she bought her car for a, for a sweet 16. And then when she bought the car, she then said, I don't want the car because I don't like driving. So you're still going to drive me anyway. But even if I do drive the car, you're going to fill up the car for me because I'm not going to fill it myself. You gotta think about it. If that's how she's treating her mum, imagine how she's gonna be treating Graham, Graham when the baby comes. You know what I mean? No wonder why he went through a stage where he started losing weight, didn't want to eat, he's anxiety all, all over the place. But he's not only he's probably not only thinking about the fact that you know he's he's, he's having to give up certain things so he can prioritize a child, but he's also thinking that he's gonna have to put up with Katie for the rest of his freaking life. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's how I'm reading it. Because I mean, if I was in this situation, that's how I would be. I'd be like, damn, out of all the girls, I got you pregnant. Oh, uh, uh, yes. I'm just being honest. I'm just keeping a buck. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions. But either way, though, for him to start losing weight and uh, things to change for him, and you can see and you can hear it in his voice. I hope that he's able to find the help that he may that he may need um, in the future. Because uh, right now, I feel like he's probably in that point in his life where he's kind of going up into a little shell and also notice that whenever Katie talks he always looks at her like <sighs> do you see what I'm saying that look says a lot of things but Kaylee on the other hand now she's always gonna be oblivious to the energy in the room because well she's all she's so um she doesn't care to read the room because she's too stuck in her own ways of getting what she wants because her mum made it that way poor parenting in my opinion Graham has made a lot of sacrifices um, to be a dad. I feel, you know, very proud of him. But I don't know if Kaylee always gives him the credit. Kaylee will never give him the credit he deserves. Well, not anytime soon. Because of this mother. Mom should, you know, step up as well. I just hope that Graham and his mom are coming to help for the baby shower. It's going the way Kaylee's mom and herself sit there and say, oh, I hope Graham's mom and Graham can step up and blah, 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 blah. Now, listen, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Should he be there? Should he be there for the baby reveal? I agree 100%. He should, he should be there. You know what I mean? When you have a child, obviously, it's all about teamwork 100%. Um, but I do feel like these two are two very young kids. And therefore, you know, there has to be some form of understanding and and they both definitely need better guidance you know what i mean on the way of becoming parents and i feel like the way katie's mom's going about it isn't exactly the best personally because obviously katie's behavior to be fair i highly blame it on her i blame it because it's a reflection of her freaking mom simple one to three the girl's only what 15 16 whatever and i think meanwhile obviously you know with uh, graham's mom now i think she's trying to do the best she can but she's probably struggling because she sees that her son is fading away you know she sees that he's uh, he's changing and uh, he's starting to become somewhat unhappy hmm. either way though i really hope that these two can find a way to make it work and i really hope that they can do their best they can to you know provide the best life possible for their child it doesn't mean they have to stay together forever but as long as they can still be great parents that is the main thing but i really do hope that graham on the other hand you know um things don't get worse for him mentally i hope things start to improve for him and katie on the other hand i just hope that she can finally find a way to stand on her own two feet and uh, stop relying on her mom to be there to save at any given time. Nonetheless, though, let's uh, let's continue. I'm worried about Lily's overspending on Christmas. Money really doesn't matter when it comes to Christmas. Christmas is a magical time. Money matters. See, the money is going to grow on trees, or you got to put money out your ass or something. See, this is the thing that I can't fathom about. Oh, did I actually put this? Okay, this is where this ends. My bad. Anyway, so <laughs> Lily is not working, and the way she's expecting the money that they're raising. Or the money that he's he's working for, for it to just be spent just like that at Christmas is ridiculous. Last week I praised Lily. This week, no, 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 no. She needs to humble herself, okay? Because she's not working. She's not bringing any money to the table, which is fine. Because they've both chosen this lifestyle, which is fine. But she has to be respectful to the money that obviously you know uh, Lawrence is actually earning. Do you know what I mean? And be and and make sure that it's going to work. Because at the same time, he's trying to save like thirty. 30 plus K for their wedding. Do you know what I mean? So to save 30 plus K on his own income, as well as also Christmas and all that kind of stuff, she needs to understand that, hey, that's not how it's going to work. Let's keep this respectful. Let's do it. Let's make sure that this is, let's make sure that our money, manage, our money management is going to be healthy. She's not doing that. You see what I'm saying? And that is not a good thing at all. She needs to do better. You know what I'm saying? Um, but hey, 
But I, I like Lily and Lawrence, you know, I think they're a good couple, you know what I mean? Just obviously, they're still young, still got things to learn, you know what I mean? And uh, I do hope and I do feel as if they have got a long future ahead of each other too, do you know what I mean? But nonetheless though, let's uh, move on to the uh, last couple. I'm tired of her calling me immature, but I've stepped up the best I can. Okay, yeah, do you want this or not? No. I do think it's kind of unfair. Work that I do for Emily just gets overlooked and... Listen, no man wants to be treated as if he's a child. Do you know what I mean? Well, in this way, he's a boy, right? But he's a boy trying to become a man. And of course, he wants to make sure that the woman that he's going to have got pregnant, he wants to make sure that she can take him seriously. You know, he wants to feel reassured that she can trust him to to, to do the right thing. She can trust him to to obviously um, make sure as he goes in. But the thing is, though, <laughs> what she's forgetting is that he's only, what, 16? Fair enough, she's 18, but like, yo... Just because you're a little bit older doesn't mean that you can treat him as if he's a complete freaking numner. You know what I mean? I feel like she definitely should um, be careful about how she um, treats Nate moving forward because I think the way Emily has been treating him, it's not massively negative. But at the same time, to make him feel as if he's less than, that's not healthy. I'm worried that when the baby comes, things will get harder and worse for us. And this is what's happened now. Now he's panicking that things may get worse. And that's something that you don't want. You know what I mean? You both got a baby on the way. You both want to be, you know, on the best foot, on the best front foot forward. You know what I mean? And um, it's probably going to take a lot of work, a lot of work. But the question is, though, is he ready to go through all the trials and tribulations of making sure that she can see him in a different way, not in the way that she seems to see him? But let's not say that this is how she sees him all the time. I guess this is just one of the areas where he just he just wants to feel like as if you know, as if he is a man, as if he is going to be the man in the house. He doesn't want to feel like as if he's in this world where he's having a child or somebody that's always going to look at him as if he's a boy rather than the man he's trying to be. Because really and truly, he's trying to be a better father than what his father was. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, for her to take him seriously, that's very crucial for him and very crucial for his growth as well. Because if she doesn't take him seriously or she makes fun of him in certain ways, it's going to make him struggle. Nonetheless, though, let me know your thoughts and let me know your opinions and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.